In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a digital mock-up photo. But before I get into the video, if you are new to my channel and want to learn about how to make money online, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos about how to make money online. Now, as a photographer, I really say that I prefer that you photograph your mock-up photos. If you have a decent camera, I highly recommend that you photograph your own. Now, you can get backdrops on Amazon. Um, you can get all of the props that you need. You can even go to thrift stores and find props like old chairs or, you know, old picture frames and things like that. Um, all of the things that people are using to, you know, using mock-up photos for, such as, you know, sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, throw pillows, tote bags, all of those types of things, you can actually purchase those blank. Um, you can get those on Amazon. Just look for what is selling on Etsy or if you're selling on design bundles, um, creative market, the hungry JPEG, wherever it is, you can find those things. So once again, before I jump into this video, I do want to highly stress that I really recommend that you photograph your own. But if you don't have a good camera or you don't feel that you're very good at doing photography, you can also make these digitally. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I'm going to hop over here. This site is called pixabay.com. Now you can get a lot of images on here um, that are royalty free and commercial free. There is nothing that you have to do. So for example, if I just type in chair, Okay, then this is going to take me to where I can search for all types of chairs. So I kind of like this one right here, but I don't want this background. Okay, so I really did a lot of researching here on Pixabay for what I was wanting to do. And um, once again, these photos, like um, if you wanted to download this one for something and add something to it, um, it is free for commercial use, no attribution required. So Pixabay is a great place to get photos. So I just happened to get a couple of photos from Pixabay and I will leave a link to uh, Pixabay in the description below so that you can go here and easily go. It's just pixabay.com. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to my favorite site, ipicky.com, and this time we're going to click on edit a photo. So I have already uploaded this background. So if you search on Pixabay for background, you can find these. So is what we're going to do is we're going to click here to edit this photo. And this is our backdrop right here. So it's just a brick wall and it looks like it has like a wood floor with some different colors in it. But we need to add some things to it. So um, this is going to be a throw pillow mock-up photo. So I'm also going to show you in here. If you go to remove background, and I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below as well. We are going to select a photo and I am going to pick this chair that I found on Pixabay uh, and we are going to remove the white background on it. So I'm going to go ahead and download this image and then I am going to pull this up and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay, so I just am going to save this 
to my desktop and it is a PNG file with a transparent background and then I'm going to close out of it. Okay, so I have one more that I need to take the background out of and this was a picture that I actually took of a white throw pillow that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and download this image. And then we are going to um, go ahead and save this as a PNG. And we're going to save it to our desktop. So this was a throw pillow that I already had and I took a picture of it with my phone and I emailed it to myself. So technically I could probably stand a little bit of editing and make this a little brighter, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just trying to show the concept here. Okay, so now that we are over here in back in ipicky.com, we need to upload those two PNG files and we're going to kind of move them around a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on add an image and I'm going to go to my desktop where I saved those images. And I want to make sure that I get the two that are PNG files. So I have uploaded those photos. Now is what we are going to do is we're going to click on this layering tool. And this is basically going to take us kind of back over to the designer. Um, it looks like three little stacks of square paper on top of each other. So this is where we are going to be able to add and layer. Okay, so is what we're going to do is these are transparent backgrounds. So we're going to take this and play around with them and we're going to move it over here and try to see what we can do with this. We want to make it look somewhat realistic. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my transparent throw pillow and we're going to mess around with this and we need to make this a little bit smaller as well and I'm going to kind of tilt this a little bit just to kind of make it look like it is really on there. So here we go. We have just created something. So then you can even add some text. Your design here. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the font. And I am going to tilt that, by the way. Okay, so I am going to just kind of tilt this a little bit and put it in the center. Your design here. So we literally went from taking a picture off of Pixabay of a chair and also a background off of Pixabay and a throw pillow that I had and it was laying on my carpet in my bedroom and I took a picture of it with my phone and look what we have created. We have just created a, um, we have just created a mock-up photo. Now you can get as creative as you want with this. If you want to add, you know, something like a lamp beside it, you know, just look on Pixabay and see if you can find something with a lamp. You can always take the background out of it. And that's what's important. You want it, 
When you take the background out of it, it turns it into a PNG transparent background, which means that there's nothing around it and you can move it around and resize it. So I'm really liking this. And this is also sized at 2000 by 2000. But we have one more thing we want to do. We want to save this into a high resolution, um, you know, with a high quality of 300. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image to my computer. Now is what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to paint.net. So let me pull that up. Okay, so we are now in paint.net. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open the file that we just created. The one thing about iPicky is it does not save things in high resolution. So we want to make sure that we have this in high resolution. So here is our mock-up photo. We're going to go over here to image and we're going to go to resize. And it's showing that it's 2000 by 2000, but we want to change the resolution to 300. And you want to make sure that this box is checked where it says maintain aspect ratio. So I'm just going to change this to 300 or not 3000, 300. And it keeps the dimensions at 2000 by 2000, which is what Etsy recommends for your thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then we are going to save this image. And I'm going to save it to, and we are going to replace the original one with the high quality one. So I'm going to click OK. And that's how you do that. You can do this with almost anything. So this is just showing you how to do a throw pillow. You can do this with um, t-shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts. And by the way, if you're looking to purchase um, t-shirts, mock-up, you know, for things for mock-ups, you can go to jiffy.com and I will also leave a link to that in the description below. Most of the, th the things that they sell on Printful or Printify, whatever print on demand that you're using, um, you can find those for a lot cheaper on jiffy.com. So I will leave a link to that in the description below. Um, also, sometimes you can get lucky and you can get on Amazon and you can find some things there too. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.